YouTube family, what's going on with y'all, man? My name is Kieran Davis, owner, founder of Contagious Co., where we focus on making self-love contagious for mental health awareness, suicide prevention. Guys, I'm here to help any aspiring clothing brand owners, entrepreneurs, really start taking the next steps to really remove yourself from your nine to five and start making money through your business, right? And in order to do that, you got to start making money. You got to start getting sales. So in this video, I'm going to go over a couple reasons why you might not be getting the sales that you're trying to get. Now, before we really dive in, if anybody wants to hit me up for coaching, you can text me directly, 724-734-9945. Just text me ready or check the link in the description for certain offers that we have, eBooks and certain exclusive content that, can, that you can learn so much more and get a lot of damage and really turn your brand up today, right? So the first reason why you might not be getting sales with your brand is because you don't have a why. You don't have a mission for your brand. Your brand is probably something called, uh, you know, swag gang or something like that, drip gang or something like that. And you're just trying to make hot products, but your brand doesn't represent anything. Your brand doesn't stand for anything larger than just nice product. And there's already so many nice products out there in the world. So what makes you different? Why shouldn't somebody go buy Nike? Why shouldn't somebody go buy, you know, Supreme? Why shouldn't somebody go buy one of these more popular brands versus buying yours, right? Now, I'm not saying you can't get sales if you got a hot product and you don't have a mission. But what I'm saying is people are going to buy why you do what you do instead of what you do, right? They're going to support your mission first. A lot of people are going to buy my brand because we have a strong mission. We have a strong why the fact that it's a nice product only reinforces that so it gives them two reasons to buy where you're only offering one right the next thing here is that you might not have a nice product you know some people might have a good story you might have a good mission right but your product might not be hot so therefore you might be able to get sales on this in person but if somebody goes to your website online and they and they don't hear your story and you're not there to sell to them, to them in person the product itself is not, you know, convincing enough for them to, be, to pull out their car, enter the payment information and go ahead and order that and wait for it to arrive at their house. So you want to take time in and make sure that you have a nice winning product. How can you find a nice winning product? In some of my previous videos, I've talked about how to find a winning product, how to create a winning product and different ways to do that. You know, these are also certain things I'm going to help you guys figure out because this is something I had to go through figuring out how to get a winning product for my brand. I can help you go through this process as well and figure this out and find the best product for your brand, right? The next thing is that you are trying to be an e-commerce brand. You're trying to focus on getting sales online. And I said this in the last videos on how, as I learned from my mentors as well, right? From World and Vision, like in the last 30 days, what it, what's something that you bought online that you've never bought before? You never heard of it, you never bought it, you just seen it online and you bought it. In the last 30 days, how many things did you buy like that, right? Probably zero. Right. But in the last 30 days, what's something that you never heard of before, never seen before, never bought before that you bought in person? See, we're way more likely to buy something for the first time that we never knew about because in person it's more, you know, convincing. There's, it's, it's just a different type of energy. And you probably try a new candy bar or a new meal, um, you know, just different things that you're more likely to take the, ch the, the chance to try out and support in person than you are online. So if you're just solely just focused on uh, how to drive sales to your website, how to, you know, if you have a website, right? Even if you, ha if you have a website, right? But if you're just trying to exist online and you're just posting content thinking that you're just gonna get these sales, you can, you can be wasting a lot of time where you can just go, go to a pop-up, local pop-up shop, a local event, you know, get into your area and get your brand out there in the real world. And I promise you, your first hundred sales are going to easily come in person way faster than they're going to come online. Right. The next thing you might not even have a website set up. Right. Some of you guys might just be wait, posting on Facebook, posting on Instagram and waiting for somebody to DM you and tell you that they want to buy. And then what they cash up you or something like that. Like, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you two reasons why you don't want to do this. For one, you want to have a ready, you want to have a, a ready to go shop, right? So you want to have an online store where people can browse your products and see what's in stock. And, and it cuts down this whole communication thing. You don't have to look and see, okay, this is what I have available. These are the colors I have available. Going and doing this whole back and forth is just going to waste time when they can just go on your website and see it. And then they can purchase it if they want to and see what this shipping is and see what this and this set that is. Sometimes you're going to make more money off of shipping, right? So uh, and then if even if somebody's like they hit you up, oh man, I'm local, can I da, 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 still make them pay on your website 
And if, and if you want to give them a free shipping code because they're going to come pick it up, you can do that, but send everything to your website for two reasons. One, you want to collect data. You want to get everybody's phone number, everybody's email, everybody's first, last name, who's going to purchase from you so that you can have this customer in your database. In other videos, I'll talk about why you need a database, why you need a database. I'm going to go a little bit on it right here in this video. But one of the main reasons why you need a database, because it's another way that you're going to get set more sales or repeat customers, right? The next reason why you want to make sure that you're that they're going to the website to order or that you're using a POS system to get these orders because Shopify is going to track the success of your business. Shopify is going to see um, how much orders you're getting, how much money your business is making. And Shopify will actually offer your business capital, right? It's going to be a capital loan so that you can turn your brand up and get more product and even invest in more marketing to really turn your brand up even more. So if you're just cash shopping and things like that and you have you don't have your business structured, correctly, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities to get some extra funding and extra capital for your business to really turn your brand up to the next level, right? Another, re another reason why you're not getting sold because you don't have a database. Like I said, you're just uh, doing orders through DMs and things like that. You don't have a database. You don't have emails. You don't have phone numbers. Guys, these multi-million dollar brands, about 10% of their revenue is coming from their database. It's coming from email and SMS marketing. If you don't have any phone numbers, you don't have any emails, how are you going to generate this 10%, right? Somebody buys from you one time, how long until they buy from you again, right? Until they what? They see you post on social media, a new colorway, or a new design, a new drop or something like that. So Instagram, don't show everybody your content. So unless they're su super engaged and they're super tuned in, they might not see your content. You post it on Facebook and get, might get flooded out the timeline. They didn't even see your post, right? Unless it's doing a bunch of interactions and it's getting a bunch of shares, they might not even see this post. Or what if they don't even be on social media like that? Maybe they bought from you at a pop-up shop before and don't follow you on social media, right? So you need to get their data because when you do a new drop or a new color or, or, a, new, or a sale, you can just send out a text or an email and you can engage all your customers that you've ever sold to before or potential customers who went on your website, opted in for a discount. They didn't buy yet because maybe they, they you know, what they wanted wasn't in stock or something like that. You can re-engage these people to potentially get them as a first time customer or get customers to come back and continue buying with you. Right. So those are like the biggest ways off top that you could. That the reason why if you're not if you're not checking all these things. That's, these could be a reason why you're not getting sales for your business. And if you start implementing some of these things, I promise you, you're going to see your first thousand dollar month, first five thousand dollar month, first ten thousand dollar month. And you're going to be able to elevate your brand and really go to the next level. Thank you, guys. Till next time. Peace.